This just in, you guys, today, the World Health Organization says no to bacon, sausages, and other processed meat, saying that it causes cancer. They have one that's called the meat tornado. Literally killed a guy last year. So they now classify processed meat as, quote, carcinogenic to humans based on evidence from hundreds of studies and linked in specifically to and linked to specifically colon cancer. Mm -hmm. Uh, the report outlined that simply eating 50 grams of processed meat each day, which is the equivalent of two slices of ham, can increase the risk of such cancer by 18%. They also classify processed meat in the same category now as smoking and asbestos, based on its certainty of the link with cancer. According to the WHO, about 34,000 cancer deaths per year worldwide can be attributed to diets that are high in processed meat. The meat industry, they're slamming WHO. They're saying that this report is biased and misleading. They say, quote, they tortured the data to ensure a specific outcome. Thoughts, five words or less. Is sausage Fest canceled? <laughs> <laughs> no bones about it. Mm -hmm. Vegan. Hating on my bae, Ken. <laughs> Vegans aren't sad, though. Look how happy I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a happy camper and I feel great. But okay, so what did you guys think about this report? This is this is big news for them to equate it to some degree to smoking and to asbestos, yeah. Yes. First of all, those other two things are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't saying you can't eat meat. There's a hot spinning cone of meat in that Greek restaurant next door. I don't know what it is, but I'd like to eat the whole thing. You can still eat meat, just don't eat meat that looks like, that feels like leather. Well, you know what sucks though, Brett, to that no argument? I feel bad for the, because it becomes a socioeconomic thing. I feel really bad for yeah. the people that, you know, you, you could go to Irawan, which is a really expensive place here in Los Angeles, where there's, there's free range meat or whole foods, and that's mm -hmm. so expensive. And then I remember when I was in college, I ate a lot of bacon, a lot of processed ham. Wait, wait, I worry what you just heard was, give me a lot of bacon and eggs. What I said was, give me all the bacon and eggs you have. And that was just the most inexpensive thing to do. Yes. So that sucks too. Like I really feel for the people that are struggling. You mean me? Yeah. yeah no, I mean me too. That's another hang up where I, I, yeah, I, I can recognize all these benefits, but I'm like, <laughs> but I really can only afford like a one Del yes. Taco <laughs> meal a day. Totally. Yeah. Like that's how I'm living. Been there, yeah. been there, done that. Yeah, my father is uh, had prostate cancer and he completely went into remission from changing his diet and eliminating meat. Wow. So I already knew this, WHO. I know this. I could have told y'all. <laughs> should have like, You should have been told me. I would have told you, but whatevs. Whatevs, guys. Um, so I knew that, and I'd already started working on doing those kind of things and eliminating certain things from my diet. But it is an economic situation yeah, where it becomes incredibly expensive to eat as clean as we it's should be Absolutely eating. right. I wish that there was more organizations out there that tried to um, make it more available accessible, yeah. and accessible because we all deserve healthy meals. Mm -hmm. like, I'm not vegan, um, but I have to be honest that a lot of this information has been coming out and it has really been making me rethink some of my personal choices and eating habits, honestly. It's, and I never, I never, ever thought that I would even think about saying the words that are coming out of my mouth. But I really do think about it because it is better for the environment. And, and I animals. And, well, and, 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 and animals. And, and I have a dog now. And every animal that I see <laughs> looks like my dog. I look Aww. at a cow and I'm like, oh, it's just like Casper. And I see a pig yeah. and I'm like, oh, it's a little piggy Casper. And it's, <laughs> and it's a problem. But, it, but I think that it's OK, even if you do eat meat, to recognize that there's a conversation to be had here. Yeah. And not to, you know, no one's shoving it down my throat. I've kind right. of been thinking about this on my own. And who knows what I'll decide. You know, right. I was talking to you about maybe adopting it, you know, one day a week, week and just totally. seeing how it goes. But the the evidence is there. We just have to be honest that, like, not eating meat and, you know, plant-based stuff is better for it the environment better. and better for us. Well, better for the environment, so true. It's also just muddy. There's people who are, have all these initiatives that they're trying to put in place, like labeling what's genetically modified, labeling things that are, as organic, but even still, like, that's not regulated. And those, just because it has a cool-looking stamp of approval doesn't mean it's from an official organization. Yeah or that it means one specific thing. Yeah, so and bottom so line, just, much farther just you educate yourself. I think Cowspiracy is a great film. Educate yourself, and then, you know, hopefully through time, 
um, if you want to make that choice, there's, there's resources available to you. So, all right, please keep the conversation going in the comment section below. We'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.